Every single thing in this space cost me less than All right, what's going on everybody? So this is the Educated Dieter HQ. And last time I put out a garage gym video, a lot of you guys checked that video out. And we're in a position right now where the move that we talked about, the move has been done. And we decided to also put a gym in our office space here. Now we only have about 350 square feet of actual gym space. And what I'm gonna do is kind of walk you guys through every piece of equipment that I got where I got it from, how much I paid for it, and overall the total cost of my entire office gym. First, I wanna start with the flooring and the overall square footage. As a building like this, this is actually a wood building. And to be honest with you, I was very, very hesitant to bring this much weight inside the facility. Uh, but what we ended up doing, I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight horse stall mats, uh, taking up roughly about 300, 350 square feet of the office. The office right now, 900 to 1,000 square feet, I'm not sure. So this gym space takes up about a third of the overall office space. Now, once I laid down the mats, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna be able to get some good equipment in here. All I'm gonna need is probably a rack, some dumbbells, adjustable bench, a bar, and some weights. However, <laughs> I am a bargain shopper and I like to hunt for deals. My wife probably gets mad at me. She's actually behind the camera. If you find a deal, it's a great opportunity to take advantage of it, specifically if you ever plan on having things like this forever or to have another facility or something like that. So as I grow, as the company grows, we just kind of continuously gather more and more pieces because ultimately the goal is to have a larger facility where people can actually come and train or we can train other people. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and take you guys through each piece, where we found it, how much we paid for it, and then do a grand total at the end. So we got this piece right here. This is a 12 prong weight tree. We got this on Facebook Marketplace for $100, and the retail price for this going right now is about four to $500 on eBay, okay? So again, phenomenal deal. Uh, this piece, we don't have to get too close up on it, but basically, this is a T-bar row made by a company called Tough Stuff, and this is their performance series. The lowest price I could find on this online was 750 bucks, and we got it for $150, okay? Some of you guys pay more than that for a pair of pants. <clears throat> now, I struck a deal with some of this stuff because a piece like this, if any of you guys are like old school bodybuilders, you guys know exactly what this is. This is a Cybex Converging Incline Chest Press Fly Machine. Um, these pieces right here go for between $1,200 and $1,500. The, lo the lowest price I've been able to find it on eBay was $1,550, okay? I got this piece for 300 bucks from a guy up the street who actually used to be a professional MLB player. Now, what I actually did was I ended up getting this Cybex piece, this Cybex piece, and that Cybex piece, and that Cybex piece, uh, all four of them from the same guy. And I believe grand total was just over $1,000 for all four of them, okay? So if you do the math on that, that's roughly 250 a piece. And each one of these machines the lowest you'd be able to find them is about 750 to 1,000, even if you were to find them on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that. that. Now this is again, this is a super rare piece. I'm gonna show you guys how this actually works. So this is a diverging lap pull down, which a lot of you have never seen one of these, but once I saw it, I was like, you know what? I'm like a kid in Toys R Us, like I gotta have it. So what essentially you do is you actually pull it apart as you pull down. Now what this does is it forces your upper back to go into scapular retraction without you really even meaning to do so. So it works different muscles that you normally would not work if you were just doing a standard pull down like so, or maybe a close grip version like this. Right. I'm gonna show you guys how this one works as well. Basically you sit down on it, position yourself, and then from here, a normal press would just go straight up in the air. However, Cybex was definitely ahead of the game. And this one comes up and then you tap in the middle to completely contract the upper clavicular fibers of your pecs and back down. So you can see it's a very smooth, nice machine. And again, got a steel. 
Moving on to the next one, uh, we have a para body Smith machine slash squat rack. Now I'm gonna show you guys something that's super rare. I, I haven't seen a lot of these, but the reason I wanted this specific piece is because it has the actual double saw rack. So it's got a rack on the front. It's also got the rack on the back. So basically it's a Smith machine on the back, squat rack on the front. So if you wanna use the Smith machine, totally can. But however, there are a lot of garage gym guys, power lifters, they prefer to use the rack on the outside for their benches, their bent over rows, their rack pulls, their squats, all of that stuff. The cool thing about this being a very space saving piece is that it, it does both. Now, if any of you have watched any of my videos, you know, I typically I've all put bands around it and I have a band attached up here at the top so that we can utilize accommodating resistance. And I also have a band attached down there at the bottom so that you can do like seated rows and things like that. Then we have our chains on the side, uh, Bulgarian split squat stand right there, which I did actually buy brand new on Titan. I don't buy very many things brand new, uh, but that Titan piece is something that I just couldn't find anywhere else. Now, this adjustable bench, this is actually the same bench you guys saw in my garage gym video. This one goes for roughly about $1,200 brand new when I got it for 200 bucks from a guy up in uh, Wesley Chapel, which I'm actually going to see him probably tomorrow because I found something else for a great deal. And uh, next up, we have this uh, Cybex lying hamstring curl, which I do not have a lying hamstring curl at my house, but this machine right, right here has been amazing. Tanya actually uses it all the time. I use it all the time. And the thing that I love about it is I take bands, carabiners, and straps, and I just wrap things around specific pieces of the machine so that I can actually activate specific ranges of motion. So a lot of people are very weak in the contracted position of a muscle. So therefore, if you can overload the contracted position of a muscle, you can force more tension on the muscle where they're the weakest. So for a lot of people, specifically those who aren't used to taking a muscle through a lengthened and a contracted position, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, next up. Seated calf raise. Uh, this piece here, it's a Paramount. I believe it was probably manufactured in like the late 90s, I believe. But the gentleman that I got it from completely refurbished it and I ended up getting it for 200 bucks. And I think the, uh, the, the going price for this piece right now is around $1,000, okay? Cybex, I believe this is, I don't know when this was built, but I just love the way that this specific machine feels. I got it from the same gentleman who was a ex uh, MLB baseball player that I got the other Cybex pieces from. And uh, again, I think I got this one overall, I got all of them for around a grand, but this one specifically, I got for 250. We have our hoist hyperextension. Now, a lot of garage gym goers, individuals like that, they loved to deadlift. You see videos all the time, guys in their garage pulling heavy amounts of weight. And oftentimes, a lot of them actually have a weak link in their system. So whether that's lower back strength, upper back strength, whatever it is, something along the thoracic extension portion is weak. Now, how do we make that strong? We have to basically make sure that you're neurologically activated throughout the entire range of motion. The best way to do that, in my opinion, is gonna be utilizing something very similar to this piece. It does not have to be exactly like this, but you wanna make sure that your legs are actually able to be elevated in the air not like a normal hyperextension, which were where your legs are on the floor and you're bent over like this. The one where your legs are elevated, I feel like can actually load your spine better, specifically your upper back, all right? Um, let's go to the bands. All right, so for those of you guys who have checked out our latest program, it's called the M3 Trainer. You guys saw we use these bands a lot and we use these bands a lot in that program. By the way, that program is available for download and it's 100% free. The link is in the description. So if you want a at-home free training guide, this is a 32-page PDF that's actually educational. Click in the description and download that product. Now in that product, we do utilize all of these things. So this is a band pair, goes from 10 pounds all the way up to 50. And then we also have our Elite FTS bands, which for those of you who are very, very strong, I'd highly recommend these. And the most important piece to having bands or utilizing bands is gonna be these two things. These are magic, okay? It's gonna be a door anchor, gonna be heavy duty carabiners. Don't buy the cheap ones because they will bend on you. Heavy duty carabiners, door anchor, and handle. Pretty much with this setup, you can do 
hundreds of exercises in the safety of your own home. And I know that a lot of you right now are dealing with the coronavirus pandemic and nobody's allowed to train at any facilities or anything like that. So you really just have to make do with what, with what you have. And if all you have is this here, this is it. Definitely download the M M3 trainer because it's gonna teach you guys how to utilize bands and why, most importantly, why you should be utilizing bands if you wanna be strong throughout the entire range of motion. Um, another piece that I would recommend if you are training at home right now, and I don't know how shipping is, but it'd probably be a T-bill. Now you don't necessarily have to order this one from that website, uh, but I would highly recommend utilizing a T-bill. You can even build one if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's for about, say probably 10 to $20. And the last thing we have here is, is the dumbbell rack. This is the half the dumbbell rack that I showed you guys from my house gym. I brought half of it here because my wife needed the other half of the dumbbells. Back, we got some fives, tens, 15, 20, 30, 40, 50. A couple of miscellaneous bar attachments down here at the bottom. All right, so I know I told you guys, I'm gonna tell you the price and how much this entire thing cost me. And uh, I think maybe to make this a little fun, maybe I'll have you guys, no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna tell you. So the best deal that I got in this entire gym was definitely the squat rack, okay? Um, just to provide you an example, squat rack like this, buying it new is probably gonna go for about $1,500 because it is a Smith machine. Um, and then this bench would be another $1,200. $1, so you're looking at about $2,500, $2,700 just for the rack in the bench now you add the bar this extra barbell on top of that and you're talking about probably 27 to three thousand dollars just for the setup you see right here not and not to mention everything else not even the floor okay the floor we do recommend horse stall mats those are 40 bucks a piece at tractor supply company all the little miscellaneous doodads i've already figured this out and basically every single thing in this space cost me less than three grand. Let that marinate for a second. Every single thing, less than $3,000. Every single piece, including the chains, these freaking, these hooks, all the bands, all the hooks, all the dumbbells, all the everything, less than $3,000. So just think about that the next time you guys are considering starting your own garage gym, because I know that there are a lot of people who might be able to afford spending $3,000 just on a squat rack. But at the same time, if you're just a little bit more diligent, a little bit more patient, and you hunt for deals, you can legitimately build the, I mean, in my opinion, like this is kind of like a, a for the space that I have, it does everything that I want. It's customized specifically for me. It has very, very detailed pieces that I personally handpicked so that they could fit me perfectly and less than $3,000. So just be mindful of your expenses in the next time. It's not gonna cost you $10,000 to build the garage gym of your dreams when you can actually find amazing deals online. And I'm definitely looking forward to continuing to grow with you guys as we kind of continue to evolve and our business continues to grow and we help serve the world helping more people. I appreciate you guys for checking this video out. If you have any questions about any of the pieces that I purchased, why I purchased them, anything like that, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below and I will see you guys in the next video.